Goodbye, Boston. Hello, Ithaca. My wife and I just moved to Ithaca after spending three years in Boston. And I recently posted this to Facebook and Instagram. And a lot of you guys are like, why Ithaca? Well, I'm going to talk to you guys right now about why we made the move to Ithaca, New York. And it comes down to pretty much two or three things. One is that we're both closer to our families. Two is it's good for music, for me. And three is it's good for the wine industry, which is the industry that my wife works in. We had a nice start when we first moved to Boston in 2019. I was able to start a band with some folks. I got into the music scene a little bit. And my wife got a really nice Fortune 500 job there. But then the pandemic hit in 2020. And like many other cities in the Northeast, Boston shut down completely. I'm a country boy at heart, being raised here in western New York, only about two hours from Ithaca, and I always saw the point of cities being that there's a lot of different people doing a lot of different things, so there's a lot of different opportunities. But there are no opportunities unique to a city when the entire city is shut down. So when that happened, you guys might remember, I went all in on live streaming. I live streamed every single day of the pandemic shutdowns when it first happened because I thought that it was only going to last a couple of weeks. But after three weeks of live streaming, pretty much a boots and ballads level live stream every single day and even doing live stream concerts on other Facebook pages and channels, I soon got burnt out. <laughs> So I changed my strategy a little bit so that it would be a little bit more sustainable for the long-term lockdown that we ended up having, which was like two years, right? I had around 7,000 subscribers at the beginning of the shutdown, so most of my growth has been over the past two years. But since I was doing everything online, I didn't really see any value. There wasn't really a point of being in a big city. It was providing no value to me at all. I was making some progress networking with folks online to find extended tests for those boot reviews that you guys love, but even then, the majority of those folks were in Worcester, Massachusetts, which was an hour outside of Boston. Plus, the music scene was still shut down in Boston, and I was more than six hours drive away from my family. So when restrictions lifted and music venues started opening back up, you know, doing open mic nights and things in late 2021 and early this year, 2022, I knew I would have to start over again and get back into the music scene, you know, go to the open mic nights, network with musicians and things to find those good shows. And when I thought about it, I really didn't want to do it there because it's such a pain to find parking for those things and fight with traffic. I know it seems like a silly thing to complain about, but damn, when you're in it, it really starts to get at you, like for real. So, and, and plus, I was coming back to Western New York on a regular basis. I was driving those six hours for extended tests that I would get uh, because my family is here. I can, you know, talk with folks that I've known uh, throughout my childhood for extended tests. I was coming back on a regular basis. It just didn't make sense to drive all that way and do those reviews. And my wife just got a new job in the wine industry, which is completely remote, so we could go anywhere. Ithaca was on the list of places that we were thinking about going after Seattle, but that's when uh, she got that job at the Fortune 500 company, so we'd already scoped it out a little bit here in Ithaca. And it's also a wine region here, so now for that new job, uh, this is the Finger Lakes. Ithaca is in the Finger Lakes, which is a wine region of New York. Lots of wineries, great for her, also great for me, because the music scene here is great because they need the music in the wineries. You guys know, and I'm looking forward to uh, trying to get in there next year. Right now, I'm just trying to do the open mic night rounds, you know, get into the music scene a little bit so that uh, I can prepare myself for those bigger shows next year or the year after that. And in fact, I went to an open mic last night. The first full day that we were here, uh, found an open mic night uh, in a town just outside of Ithaca in Lansing. It was called the Crossroads Bar and Grill. And... I got to play a few songs at that and meet some great folks and learn about some other some other 
open mic nights that are coming up. Like there's one Sunday and Tuesday that I'll be going to, and it looks like an awesome scene so far. I've heard nothing but great things, and the people that I've talked to so far are incredible. Right now, we're in a sublet for the summer, so this is just a summer spot. Uh, we're going to be finding a new spot, maybe closer to downtown Ithaca, which is pretty small when compared to Boston, Seattle, and uh, Phoenix, those other places that we've lived in. It's, it's going to be really nice being so close to things, being able to walk to, to places and meet up with folks uh, at the drop of a hat. It's going to be a great time. So there's lots more to come here in Ithaca, and I can't wait to share it all with you here on YouTube and also on my other socials as well. So be sure to follow me on whatever ones you like. I got links to them all at the links in the description. Really looking forward to playing music for folks, like really getting into the music scene and playing live more. I've really missed playing live the last two to three years and just playing at the open mic night last night was a joy so that's what i'm going to spend a lot of time on i know i've spent a lot of time over the past two or three years on the cowboy boot side of things and you'll still see a lot of that but you'll also see some more uh, live music things and vlogs maybe like this uh, in the weeks and years to come here in Ithaca so be sure to subscribe and follow me on those socials I'm gonna leave you guys with the commandeer uh, I was able to get a recording my wife pressed the record on this camera here last night at Crossroads Bar and Grill for a few of my songs at open mic night so I'm gonna close this out with the commandeer from last night at Crossroads Bar and Grill. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this next era. And I will see you guys around. Peace. Surprise, surprise. Thinking I was happily reserved. Knowing really nothing. I am being so absurd. Between the ears. Yeah.